things to do list. But I'm pretty sure it's filling up everybody's agenda here for, for the year. Um, but Todd, we, we may want to contact Tony Jasinski too. Um, he's one of our county legislators and he's career law enforcement, heavily involved with the uh, proposal to consolidate dispatch for um, uh, safety over the past several years. Um, he's intimately knowledgeable about the inner workings of how 911 works. And uh, I was part of several meetings um, about the county dispatch consolidation. There are a couple of other folks. I think John Nussbach retired, didn't he? Oh, he did. John is still ahead of him. Um, there's probably a couple of other folks that will probably be value and try to figure all that out. A um, good place to potentially start would be uh, Tony Jelinski. <coughs> Help us with that. Is your name well? I don't want to call him. Okay. Yeah. So I can put your name down. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. All right. So Todd's got 911. Thank you, sir. <coughs> well, I've done most of the talking here. I, mean, I just want to make sure, Todd, you got, I mean, if you have some. Things you want to put on the uh, things to do list here. Uh, no, I'm sure you're included. <coughs> no, I think we have a good starting point. I mean, there's a lot that were things from a DOT perspective that I think would be helpful to make sure we follow up on you know, seeing them come to fruition. I think we have some, some things that we're going to start on that hopefully will be constructive projects for the town board to sink their teeth into and get their arms around. Right. We want to use Peter's skill set as required. As efficiently as possible. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. Uh, Lou, final thoughts. Well, I'd like to work with Joe with this uh, on the uh, water system. We don't know if he needs any help. Okay. You got it. Bob, you only have. Uh, I think you need something else to do, right? Any one more project? <laughs> 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 Whatever, I'm <right>, here. <laughs> Service of the town. All right. I will think of something. I think if you can get, you get started on that, that would be great. I will. Yeah. Again, I encourage you, especially the audience, I mean, if you know friends who want to join committees, we've got a lot to do. There's a lot of things we can get done. Um, it's all good. Friends, family, community. Save the township some, uh, some money, get involved. It's all good news, so. In that case, I'll try to get some notes out. I'll send it out to the board and to the town board and the boards. Um, and we'll move forward with maybe getting some formal committees established over the next two weeks. And go from there. Um, and that's it for tonight, folks. That's all I got. Oh. Could I just mention one thing about, you know, you've mentioned about getting volunteers from the town and all that. Uh, maybe writing up something in the newsletter concerning that, you know, any financial expertise or, you know, different categories and uh, suggest that they, um, you know, pick one and give a call and, yeah. you know, sometimes people need that, that um, visual to uh, kind of tweak their interest and their conscience. Right. Yeah, no good idea. Yeah. 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 I mean, they're not going to know if, if you need volunteers if you don't ask for them. No, I agree, absolutely. Uh, Mike, maybe just a, maybe in the newsletter a list of which committees are being formed and how many members you want to put in mm -hmm. each committee so people have an idea of how many slots are available and have them send in some kind of letter of interest with the, you know, a list of their personal experiences or qualifications and mm -hmm. yeah, good, good stuff. I'm actually just thinking about using like a, a quarter of the uh, front page for volunteers kind of thing, but good deal. I'm looking at it and uh, thank you. Get it in there. Mm -hmm. Any other thoughts? Mm -hmm. 
I'd like to say that I think that the second meeting of the month as a workshop and to put things up is a great way to keep track of what we're getting done. To keep our eye on things. I think it's, it's a really good expenditure of time. The vendors were less than an hour now. I think. Of that 911, it's not only Pattersonville, it's 864 number two. Because my neighbor was in the pond with his lawnmower and his wife called 911 and they had no idea where she was or anything else. And, and they asked her what her fire department was and she said potter kill and they says we don't have that potter kill and they were even not pronouncing it properly. Wow. The 911. Mm -hmm. And he's sinking in the pond and he couldn't get out. Mm -hmm. So you know that 911 is do you know if she called from a landline or her cell phone? She called a uh, landline Landline? from her house because she's seen him going in the pond. And then she got in her car and went out and pulled him out of the pond herself. That's your automatic as soon as you pick up the phone, your number should flash out. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was supposed to. It's actually federal, it's federal regulation, which Pattersonville Telephone Company technically doesn't fall underneath that. You guys even know how 911 works? It's local, it's it's because we are close to Montgomery County. Goes to the closest 911 station, which is Montgomery County. Has nothing to do with a cable company, has nothing to do with a telephone company. It is the closest 911 station that is in uh, Montgomery County. So we can sit here and complain all we want. You can try and get, <laughs> get them to identify the borders, but it won't happen. It's been tried. They've been doing it now for 10 years. People have been doing this for 10 years. Amador tried, and it still doesn't matter. It's because it's border. It's the closest thing. No different if you pick up cell phone. You know, it's the nearest cell phone tower. And that's just what 9-1. It does come up as your telephone number. They know what number you're calling from. But it's Montgomery County happens to us all the time. So it, it doesn't matter what you got. I mean, if you guys can fix it, that's great. But it's already been tried for the last 10 years. So it's the closest one. You know, people in Albany had the same thing. If you go into Skaharity, you know, well, because they're right there on the border. When you're right there on the border, it just goes to whatever's closest. And I don't mean to be abrupt and rough about it, but that's, you know, I'm sitting here listening to it, and this is, I figured this was common knowledge. Well, I guess apparently not. Well, I mean, uh, I, I, I agree with you, I mean, if it's that, that bad, then we should definitely go to the county. Um, I, I know there, every time you open your phone bill, there's a 911 charge in there, so. Yeah, and I agree, that, that's right, there. that's a New York State and federal, or well, excuse me, it's federal. But it's the closest 911. <coughs> So it, it's, it's done on distance. They don't care about borders. If they did, you know, I think that would be a lot more difficult for them to, to do. It's just a local, it's the closest 9-1, it's the closest switch to your house. And because I have uh, Pattersonville Telephone, uh, it's not Pattersonville, it's AT&T and Verizon. That's the lines they use. They just rent them. Just like Princeton Cable uses Roadrunner. They just rent them, you know? So with us, it goes straight. I mean, we're a mile and a half as crow's flies from Montgomery County. You guys are even closer. So when you guys pick up, it wouldn't shock me if you guys get Montgomery County. 911, try it. Just go, oops, sorry, wrong number. Hey, Tim. Regardless of where it gets routed to, based on proximity, there's, in the meetings that I was part of, for, uh, Involving the uh, proposal to consolidate the Schenectady County Dispatch, uh, there was a lot of discussion around um, you know, regional training of the dispatchers. Uh, it was specific to you know their given area that they're going to be providing coverage for. So I mean, I think it would be worth at least looking into. It doesn't matter. I'm not saying not to. I'm just saying that for the last ten years since uh, my mother fell and had her heart attack, and we called and took 45 minutes. 45 minutes, mm. I've been pushing this issue. So, and what I get back is, 
It's the closest 911 thing, period. Half a mile from me, it goes right to Schenectady because they're the closest. Right, but I mean, just because the car's going there doesn't mean that they can't very quickly flip to wherever exactly. and get communications to REMS or whoever they get. It shouldn't take Typically, what they do is they send you, for me, um, they, if I tell them state troopers, I tell them the barracks or, uh, you know, Rotterdam police or, or whatever, and they send you down there. But if you're trying to tell them a firehouse, I, I don't know how that works. But I do know it's the closest routing station. And because we are right there on the border between Schenectady and Montgomery, it goes right to Montgomery. So. Well, I think. Again, I don't mean to be <laughs> abrupt and rough and, and straightforward about it, but that's, no, you know. I'm doing it. I mean, the truth 2002 is, is when that happened with my mother. Well, I think, uh, well, we'll give it a shot. Let's do this now. We'll go for it. Um, that's it, then, uh, wait for a motion. Oh, yeah, we need a motion, sorry. Um, yeah. Do we have a uh, motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion. Do we have a second? Hey, Mary. I'm trying to get out here. Do you have a second? Ideas. Sure. Do you have a second? Thank you. We're done. Council members, everyone. Aye. Aye. Aye.